Welcome back, frequent guest. Yeah, Yo. what's up? What's up, dude? All right, dude, 923 Bedford, Bedford Avenue, excuse me, Brooklyn, New York. How, what is the story with this building? Why would somebody buy this? Why would somebody not buy this? So this is a 20 foot wide, eight family, all free market. It was originally a three family that was legally converted to eight units about five years ago. Um, so it has a new CO for eight units, you know, fully sprinkled building, uh, separate heat and hot water. Uh, just, you know, did the whole shebang, spent a lot of money, really, really nice finishes. Um, they are mostly one bedrooms with some two bedroom uh, duplexes, uh, penthouse units on the top. Ooh. And, you know, this is prime bed right on the border of Clinton Hill, uh, not far from South Williamsburg. So this is kind of where all the cool kids want to live, right by Pratt Institute, by the uh, G train of Bedford Nostrand. Um, and yeah, you're buying it at 3.8 which is we're asking, you're buying it about a 6.2 place, 6.2% in place cap rate. Uh, there's some room in the rents, so you could probably get it to a six and a half cap. And yeah. we are, you know, pretty close to accepting an offer. I, I think it's probably going to trade, you know, a little lower than that, probably closer to a seven cap. So you're, you're buying a free market building in a prime area of Brooklyn and getting it at close to a 7% cap rate. So when somebody asks you the worst three, the worst three words you can hear from a broker, how's the paperwork? This looks pretty good, right? Like this is yeah. You you have the new CEO, and it's it was never subject to rent stabilization to to begin with. So you Ooh, know th nice. this is about as good as it gets. Yeah, interesting. And this is like a good. This is a good location. Yeah. Yeah, um, we sold 902 to 908 Bedford a year and a half ago. Um, the buyer ended up, that was a bigger elevator building, but the buyer ended up condoing it and selling it at like 800 a foot unrenovated. Wow. Um, for like 2009 construction. So yeah, condos wow. here sold for 1100 a foot. We uh, sold the development site a couple blocks away in Lexington and the, the condo developer I know well is selling out at, at around 1100 a foot. Yeah, I see you put the taxes are projected why is is there like some type of discrepancy here because it was uh that's that was just for the 23 24 uh oh, tax wow. i mean that's no no yeah yeah these little buildings like they actually make money like this is like they actually yeah. make money the tax class two buildings larger than 10 units right 11 and up those are i mean you just you're sharing 25 percent of the income with the government and these yeah. little look your water bill two thousand dollar water bill it's as if they shower in the morning and then they leave and then nothing happens in the building the whole day, right? Everyone's just out. Yeah, work. I've been to the building, like the tenants are all gone by like 10 o'clock. You know, it's, it's actually makes it hard with showings. And yeah. I'm glad you brought up the the taxes set. So with this one, it's protected. So you have, you know, you're, you're capped at 30% uh, over five years, 8% over, uh, over one year. And it, if you look, it did reassess in 2017 or whenever it was that they that they did convert it to an eight family so it did jump but it was already such a low level that you know we could only jump so much on a percentage basis so um you know you're you're good there interesting um all right man good share someone will buy that right 100 percent free market new building good location someone will buy it yeah absolutely all right man good job see you next time thanks all right.